heard of The Canticle of the Sun from this book that I found randomly in a second-hand bookshop. It was this beautiful kind of depiction of St. Francis of Assisi. Like, it just sounded so special. I'd always loved St. Francis of Assisi and I read the poem and I just thought this sounds absolutely stunning. It's something I really want to put to music. And we started thinking, yeah, let's make this happen. Let's make this piece that's written for sacred spaces, for a contemporary ensemble of cutting edge musicians and so on. Let's, let's make this happen. And that's what we did. First half is about St. Francis singing in praise of nature to the sun, to the moon and the stars, to wind, to water, to fire and to Mother Earth. And then in the second half, he talks about more spiritual matters. He talks about peace, he talks about love, he talks about faith, he talks about death. It's very pure, very simple. And with the music, I just knew that each, each section would have a different piece of music to it, it would be a different song, basically. I think that audiences are taking on a very special musical journey. The range of songs, it's almost like it's a suite or it's like an album. You know, you're taken through so many different musical emotions from, from kind of a pure gospel feel and very church and pure vocals to a movement about fire, which is almost like punky and wild. It's absolutely immense in terms of how it sounds in, in, in this building. So I think when people kind of get, get a real range of emotions, just that exactly what's there in the, in the set of poems of the Canticle of the Sun. It's been brilliant to work with Sound UK. I just really felt that Myself as a composer, my musical colleagues were all really well supported and respected. Absolutely incredible, it was out of this world. And it was just a lot of fun, like just really unique. It really just makes you feel like you're in a different world. I feel totally blown away.